ah, oh, man, to spill the beans, to be a narc, or, uh, yeah, so when you have a secret and you tell somebody and you tell them, don't tell anybody about what has happened around here. But then they go and they spill the beans. They just let it all out and tell everybody you're considered a narc or you're spilling the beans. Stop spilling the beans. Uh, stop telling you our secrets. So, yeah. Don't let out the secrets. Go ahead, Saw. Yes, great. You always have good examples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so to spill the beans, this is when uh, you reveal a secret when you shouldn't have revealed a secret. So let's say you're planning a surprise party for someone and then you tell everyone, don't spill the beans. Don't reveal the secret. Next. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Poor puppy. This is one of the dogs I want to get. If I get another dog. There's a cute dog like that. So, yes. Number 50. Look yeah. like you <laughs> No, no, no. This is a little dog. He's a little pug. He's like a pug. Um, yes. When he has your... Uh, well, uh, when Roxy was a baby. Yeah, she was adorable. Oh Looks my God. like her <laughs> as a baby. Except for the ears are sticking up. She's got floppy ears. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There was one time I remember specifically when I got her. Um, we got her in August or September. And then we went to go see my family for Thanksgiving in November. And she was just a little puppy. When, of course, all the kids loved, loved having a puppy around, you know? Who doesn't? Yes, who doesn't? Uh, so much food. I thought she was going to pop. She was just a round ball. And then so I asked my aunt, what do I do? She's going to die. <laughs> what? <laughs> just go take her for a walk. She's just going to poop. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's see, not a good yeah. idea. She was like this big around. It was just a puppy, you know. She, she she just cleaned up everything that she could smell. She didn't know when to stop eating because she was just a puppy. Oh but my. Yeah. yeah, number fifty to be Once under. My the dog, I had a dog, and uh, someone throw uh, a bubble gum oh. on the floor, and uh, my little little dog had this bubble gum, and. He passed away. From the gum? Yes. So sad because he was a little, little dog and a baby. Yet. So it was a small dog slash also puppy? I tried hard, all veterinary th that I could, but it didn't work, no. Will you, this would be one of the, your um, your words you would have up there. So, yes, the gum led to my dog's demise. So that would be one that you could use, demise, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. If something leads to your demise, your death, you say demise. Uh, oh. to your, yeah. Demise. Just demise, yeah. Well, but that's a bummer. I didn't know gum could kill a dog. Yes, see. I said that it was what caused the death. <laughs> yes. It was a little, little dog. How much gum did it eat? It was just one, you see, but it was a baby. Yeah, but a gum shouldn't kill your dog. Yes, I don't know what happened, but they tried. Uh, they did a lot, but didn't work. Yeah, too bad. So, veterinarian tried. Message. You don't feed your dog gum. Yes, you see. I don't know what I was a little child, and my parents tried also, but didn't work. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. That's too bad to hear. That's a bummer. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Let's get back on. Sad for a child. <laughs> As I said. That, that... I didn't have a dog no more after that. Because I was so stuck on this dog. But I had just for a month. It was just a month. Maybe your parents Wait. didn't want the dog anymore. And they said it died because you gave it bubble gum. <laughs> No, I didn't. It wasn't me. They might have used it as an excuse to get rid of the dog. <laughs> yeah. Parents do that. But I was so sad. Yeah. I spent all afternoon with the dog in my in my. Actually, I remember until now. I was in front of my house with my dog. And waiting because they the the veterinarian told me, oh, just uh, be with him and try to to keep him close to your body and uh, see what it happens. See if you can pass it. Yes, yes, because what we could do, we already have done. I don't know if it, they didn't have a lot to do. Don't know. I was so ch- so little yet. Okay. Well, let's finish that conversation later. I'm sorry to hear. That's a bummer. And um, I'm sure that is a bad time in your uh, childhood. Yes. <laughs> so let's get back on the road on our path of our idioms. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So number 50, to be under the weather. Um, yeah, just to not be feeling good. Uh, I'm feeling a little under the weather today. May I take the day off? You would say. Um, not feeling good. Yeah, so pretty simple on that one. Feeling under the weather. Not feeling good, not feeling, or feeling sick of some sort. The brown bottle flu. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. Oh. So, go ahead, Saw. Great. Yes, so to be under the weather, this is when you feel unwell, when you feel sick. I'm a little under the weather today. 